have another camera comparison for you guys. Today, we're gonna put the OnePlus 6 up against the other top camera flagships here in the US. That's the OnePlus 6 versus the Pixel 2 XL, the iPhone 10, and the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now for this comparison, I went out and tried to take the same exact photo as best of my ability within the frame, etc., all on auto on all of the devices. And then we're going to put them on the screen, we're going to zoom in, we're going to kind of talk about the differences, and you guys can be the judge yourself as well. But that's about it. So let's get into the photos already, right? Now the first one is a piece of metal art near my apartment, actually. Uh, now we can see that all of the photos decided on the same coloring, basically, and they're all pretty sharp. When we zoom in, we can see that the OnePlus 6, though, is just a hair worse of the dynamic range, which is simply put how bright the brightest parts of the image are versus how dark the darkest parts are. Now, I have to admit, though, it's damn close to the Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, and keep in mind, throughout this entire comparison, that the OnePlus 6 is a decent chunk cheaper than all of the other devices in this. Now, I'll try to do another comparison with some of the other devices in the same price range as soon as I can. Next up, though, I found this lady painting her school bus. You know, normal everyday occurrences. Again, though, similar results. Similar lighting too, really, so probably has something to do with that, but they're all pretty sharp and chose similar color science. Now again, upon zooming in though, we can see that the Pixel 2 XL and the iPhone X have the best dynamic range. Check out the leaves on the tree in the background for a more prominent example of that, by the way. Uh, and the S9 Plus maybe has a tad better, but the OnePlus 6 is right behind it, if not almost maybe on par with it, which is kind of crazy. Okay, and now for some more difficult shots, not in bright daylight. This one is in a not horribly, but not great lit bar. On first glance, the iPhone 10 went cool for the color temperature. In other words, it leans more towards the blue than the red of the spectrum of color, which it, it is kind of always does. And the S9 Plus sort of made the same decision in this one, while the Pixel and the OnePlus both went warmer. Now you can t also tell that the S9 Plus image might be the brightest of the bunch, if only just. To the point though, that there are even bottles in the background on the bottom shelf that are a little kind of blown out almost. You can also see that the Pixel 2 XL actually had the best bokeh with everything behind the food and wine to be a bit more blurred out than the other phones while still keeping those items sharp. And again, this is just on auto. There's no portrait mode or any of that going on. Now zooming in, we can see where the OnePlus 6 falters a bit. The cheese is just clearly not as sharp as the other three devices. And honestly, I'll give this one probably to the S9 Plus as that's probably the most real looking of the bunch. Now next we have a night shot of this cool art installation near my office in front of Rockefeller Center. Now we can easily see the iPhone 10 doing its blue cool thing and the Galaxy S9 actually doing the opposite, going pretty warm. Now zooming in, I'd say we're getting a bit more bokeh on the Pixel 2 XL than any of the other devices. And looking at the feathers, you can see they all did a pretty good job of keeping the image pretty sharp. I'd even go so far as to say the OnePlus 6 not only kept up with all the other devices, it might even have taken the best photo in this one, in my opinion. Um, but you guys let me know what you think. Now next, we have this church. Now, we can immediately see that the Pixel 2 XL's HDR did the best job here, period. Take a look at the building in the background on the right in that photo and the tree as well, and how well they are lit compared to all of the others. Now otherwise though, I'd say the OnePlus kept up again with the others. Zooming in though, we can actually see that the iPhone and the Pixel both had a little weirdness going on. Uh, looks like a blur from the HDR not overlapping the image correctly maybe? Uh, while the S9 Plus and the OnePlus 6 nailed it and are just a lot sharper. Now overall, I think we can safely say that the OnePlus 6 keeps up decently. It's a little behind, but it keeps up with a lot of these flagships, at least in daylight, that's for sure. The S9 Plus, the Pixel 2 XL, and the iPhone 10 probably eked it out in all of the lower light shots, for sure. The Pixel 2 XL and the, and the iPhone 10 kind of being on the top end of that range for the most part. The S9 Plus though did a really good job in low light uh, with specific images versus kind of overall the HDR power of that Pixel 2 XL kind of always just does a great job and it's why you keep seeing it in everybody's video because of that software. It's just amazing at that. But again, at the cost of $500 or around $500 for the OnePlus 6 versus the much more expensive all of these other phones, um, I don't know. I think it does a really good job. And there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Which phone do you think did the best um, in the different scenarios, etc.? I would love to hear from you guys, as I always do. It's always a pleasure. Let me know, though, in the comments below. Otherwise, if you want more videos like this, want to see more camera comparisons, battery tests, vlogs, all the other fun stuff, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that as well. Don't forget to hit check the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I actually do new videos because YouTube doesn't notify anybody about anything anymore. It's just, it's just a fact now. As always though, 
regardless, thanks for watching.